All right, so as we're trolling around here, getting started, we're using some pretty big stuff. You can see, got the Pen 50 TW out, another Pen 50 TW, another Pen 50 TW, and a couple Shimano TLD 25s. And we're using a combination of umbrella rigs that look like this, little spreader bar action. It's an umbrella rig that's actually on a swivel, so this in the middle will swivel around in a circle. These also on the outside, that gives them a little bit more action. And then you've got your bait down here on the bottom. What size you got here, Kurt? Are these 16 ounces? Yeah. Big 16 ounce, that's a pound of lead in that head with that big nine inch sassy shad and the two hooks in the rig. That's the one that they eat. So this is gonna mimic a school of bunker that's getting you know back there behind the boat, just swimming around. And this one actually mimics the bait. That's the last one in the school that's the fish that can't keep up with the rest, right? That's that's the object of trolling when you're trolling any of this stuff. When you're fishing inshore or offshore, basically that, that fish is the one that can't keep up. He's the weakest of the bunch. So that's the one you can pick off first. So these are getting deployed. We got a couple of different colors out here. White on one side, chartreuse on another side. We've got some midway through the water column, others that are all the way down on the bottom. And as we're passing these schools of bunker, most of them have been down on the bottom. Um, really beautiful calm day here, less than three miles outside the mouth of the Ocean City Inlet. It's a beautiful day. Am I going to circle back? All right, you see the fleet of boats trolling around us here. We're really right around Little Gulf Shoal, just outside of the inlet uh, by a little ways. And you can see these guys right here hooked up fighting to fish. We've been waiting maybe a half an hour or so. These guys said before they picked me up, it was every half hour, 40 minutes or so they'd get a bite. We've gone some by some really nice marks on the screen, bait on the bottom, bait midway through the water column. And obviously these guys have got a decent fish on back here. No, you guys did. I'll, here's how it's gonna work. First fish, I'm gonna commentate. These guys are gonna catch. I don't wanna mess up their, their uh, style here. They caught seven before they picked me up. And this is our first one uh, since they've gotten me. All right, Cody, you're up. All right, depending on where your fish is in the spread, we've got a, how many, how many rods we got, seven guys? We're fishing six or seven rods, it ain't the one up on the rocket launcher here, up top. So depending on where it is in the spread, you don't necessarily have to clear everything, right? We're gonna clear a couple of them that were in the way of this one that's particular, and this one in particular that's hooked up. But if you've got a little slot you can run that fish up through, no problem, you leave most of the stuff in, hope for another bite even. Okay. This is kind of cool too, man. We moved, actually moved away from the fleet. The fleet is back there. I'm not even sure if you can see them back off in the distance here, but we moved away, decided to troll down to the south a little bit uh, to some boats that had made their way to the south of the Ocean City Inlet. Came across another huge school of bait that was on the bottom machine, and it wasn't two minutes before we got on the outside edge of it and got this bite. He said keeper, he's crazy again. <laughs> he that's said keeper, he's crazy again. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. There's no way that's a keeper. There is no way that's a keeper. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, it's it's wishful thinking, man. It's wishful thinking. So the reason we're laughing about this is because we're all hoping for a fish that is under 35 inches. How crazy is it to be thinking that we want to fish under 35 inches? But that's what Maryland regulations right now dictate. We're allowed to keep one fish per person from 28 inches minimum to less than 35 inches maximum. There's no way that fish is less than 35 <laughs> inches. They've been catching 40 inches all morning long. Hold that one up, Lakewood. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Get a good measurement on 41 and a half. 41 and a half inches. Hold them up. Hold Beautiful fish. fish. Head first, right? All right, here we go. Football them in. Yeah. Way to go, right brother. On. Pretty work. Pretty work. Right, Way to right. go. There we go. So a couple of good signs that you're in an area where there might be some fish are a bottom machine that looks like this. <laughs> that is straight up bait sitting down there on the bottom. 
And if you can combine that with birds that are working the surface as well, you're definitely looking at the conditions that are primo for getting a rockfish bite. Kurt, you agree with that? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're in a spot right now where we're, we've gone from hoping for a bite to possibly expecting a bite. Um, couldn't get much better than this. We've got birds working the surface up here, not just one or two. There's several gannets that are diving on the surface, grabbing bunker, and then sitting on the surface to eat it. And we've got a bottom machine that's got a load of bunker on it. It's still going, it's still going here. And it's really fishy right here, for sure. So those things together, usually, sometimes, possibly, equal a bite. Whether it correlates for us right now, yet to be determined, but we'll keep on trolling and see what happens. And there we go! <laughs> Bait to the line. Let me leave it off the button or push it up. Here, you, you film this. Yeah. Thing. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know about you. You need it necessarily, but I don't need to be going. Cranking that good job, Yeah. This one here? Yeah, just tighten it up. Tighten it up. That's a big fish right there. Yeah, it is. Pull the right in there, Come Scott, you got her. I'm just gonna reel it up with you. Snugging it up. A little more Scott, a little more. Yep. A little more. Great job, dude. There we go. <laughs> That's that a good one, one there. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think we got another one on too. What a slob. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing, dude. <laughs> in the cockpit so here's what's going on we got another my fish is on the deck my fish is on the deck they're getting another one that was that bit the other fish bit he's got it, right? yeah he's got it <laughs> okay Holy crap, man. Got that one. <laughs> All right, standing by. I'll be right back. We want to get these back in the water as quickly as we can. Holy smoke. I don't know if I can reach from end to end, guys. So it's all the way down, down here, Scott. Yeah, yeah. Even further. Oh, that's right. It goes to the tip. Yeah, the tip. 47. <laughs> 47. <laughs> 47. All right, let me get this one. <laughs> and 42. Holy crap, hold guys. Yours up. I'll hold mine up. Yeah, I don't know if I can. <laughs> we got baby Yoda here. <laughs> got him. Yeah. Holy crap, guys. Right. Oh. <laughs> that's how we do it. That, Holy smoke. That's <laughs> awesome. First. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you might take my thumb Head with him. First. Holy. There he is. There we go. <laughs> go Let's hug that one. Yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Kurt, you're up again. <laughs> there we go, there we go man. Here we go. Clean have... the first mess up. Have a second one. <laughs> we literally have not cleaned the first surface. mess up. Look at my surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See him up there. Look at that. He's oh, way back there, guys. There. You can see him. He's back there spinning. A lot of times what they'll do is They'll grab that jig, they'll grab that bucktail, they'll grab that mojo, and then they'll swim up to the surface. Sometimes it's by their own weight, they'll start to spin, and because we're still trolling forward, they'll work their way up toward the top. That's what this fish is doing. Man, pretty work. That's beautiful. I'm good. That's another stud. With the net? I got him. Got him. Holy moly, Kurt! <laughs> and we're right back on him, man. A little bit of a lull when we first got out here, but we found perfect conditions with birds diving. A really great bottom machine with a lot of bait on it. And there is the outcome. Beautiful 40 plus inch rockfish. And this one's going back too. Awesome stuff, man. High fives around. High fives around. High fives. Yeah, buddy. Ready? Good work. Yeah. Scott, you're reeling this I'm one. I'm up again.
again? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Cody, you're in charge. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm glad, glad to. Come on, yeah. give him a belt. Oh, uh, yep, yep. <laughs> These fish will go by periodically throughout the winter. You just got to be lucky enough to have them inside of three miles where you're allowed to target them. And you got to be really lucky to catch one under 35 inches. There's only that, it's only figure seven inches that you're allowed to keep that fish, 28 to 35, that's it. So anything below or above, you got to throw back. I would think that of all the boats fishing out here today, there may have been a keeper or two, but probably not. But so what? It's a blast! <laughs> 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 so close. <laughs> Alright, he's all you. Oh no, he didn't want that. There we go. <laughs> what is going on? You want to measure him? We got another fish on behind you, Scott. <laughs> Madness. Seriously, guys. Holy smokes. Look at the size of that one. Look at that. That's batter. Oh, you're out front, Cody. Yeah, we're good. Nobody's even around. What do you got? 47 again. Holy moly, I'm the 47 rock. <laughs> 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 you gotta be kidding me guys, this is the kind of rockfish that go by our coast during our winter time folks. You might not know it, but if you ever hear about it and you get on a boat and do this, go and do, a, do yourself a favor and have a great time. Absolutely awesome. Ready? Yes, sir. Head first, head first. Head first, right? <laughs> See ya! <laughs> right on! <Yeah. laughs> Woo! Right on. Nice work, Cody! Right on. <laughs> All right, man, that cute little dog is starting to shiver a little bit, so we're gonna keep him bundled up. We'll bundle him up here with the coat. Guys are back here pulling the lines in. If you can get a chance to get out here on some of this rockfish action, pay attention to the, the airwaves. Go to fishingoc.com for our daily fishing report. You'll be able to tell when it's happening. We usually last for a day or two, but it can be real hit or miss. This was a hit day, man. Absolutely awesome time out with these guys catching some really stud rockfish. Peace out. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up.